Hello everyone, this is Fifi's Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. I did just want to come on here and give you all a quick life update. I'm actually going on a cruise with my family, my husband and my two children. So I just want to show you all some, uh, some essentials that may be beneficial to you all. If you all are thinking about going on a cruise or if you have one planned, I want to come on video and show you all how I prepare. This is actually going to be my fourth cruise. And I usually um, cruise with Royal Caribbean. So this will be my fourth cruise with Royal Caribbean. So I do have a little bit of experience. And I do know some things that will make your cruise more comfortable. So I did want to come on real quick and give you all um, a, a video of essential items to bring. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my medicine bag. <laughs> so I know this looks so like a lot. But I always tell people. I read the had it stuff and not need it, then to need it and not have it. So what I packed in this bag, um, I packed medication for motion sickness. Since I'm bringing two children with me, I actually wanted to make sure I had motion sickness medication for children. I also have motion sickness medication for adults and it's non-drowsy. So that way you can take it in the morning and not get drowsy if you do get motion sickness. Now, um, this is my children's second cruise. They did pretty good on the first cruise. They didn't get sick at all, but I still had medication just in case. So um, when me and my husband went to Co Cozumel, Mexico in December, we both got motion sickness. And I was so happy that I did pack motion sickness medication and it kicked in right away. So also I wanted to just pack like cough, some cough um, drops. I also packed like Tylenol. I packed like hydrocortisone itch cream my son actually got eczema although i do use like um shea butter and i got a really good lotion for him i still want to be proactive just in case god forbid if he break out with a flare up and also i watch what he eat so i really don't think anticipate him having any outbreaks but just in case i want to have it i have aqua aquaphor i have neosporins just in case if somebody fall i can you know doctor on it so I also brought children Motrin. I have Vicks Rub because the kids, they jump in and out the water. I have some for adults and I have some for children. You always want to make sure you bring stuff for um, st upset stomach because on the cruise, people tend to eat a whole bunch of food. So I always bring Tums. I bring Pepsi, Gas X. And I also have sinus medication. I have medication for headaches. I have night and day quill. And also, I always carry Benadryl. I carry children and adult Benadryl. And I also carry with me some Deraflu flu, um, package, just in case, because the children and I will be in and out the um, water. So, And also, you know, the boat have air conditioning, so you can kind of get a cold. And also, uh, I don't have it in this video, but I'm also going to pack like vitamin C gummies for the children, they elderberry and they multivitamin. I'm going to pack that in a bag. So I just want to give you all an update just to uh, make sure I show you all what to bring. And also on the boat, you can purchase a drink packet, an alcohol drink packet. I don't drink um, alcohol like that. So I won't be purchasing, my husband don't drink at all. So I won't be purchasing an adult um alcohol packet but i still always bring bc it's good for headaches and um i just bring it with me just in case um uh so i always just make sure you have an emergency medication packet because when you get on the cruise if you find that you might get sick emotion sickness or anything and you try to go purchase these items they might be more expensive they do have a medical um office on the boat but i know that can probably be pricey so I always just carry your essentials. I always carry a um a first aid kit and I got a small one and I have a big one. As you all can see, I never opened it, but just in case if my children have a fall or if I have a fall and we have a small cut, I can um you know pull out my kit and I can dot on my children and myself and my husband. And also I also purchase travel insurance just in case God forbid if we have a huge medical emergency and we have to take a helicopter ride to a hospital, our insurance will cover that. So when I tell you, the cabinets on the cruise is so small. 
and <laughs> the bathrooms are very small. So you always want to make sure you bring uh, air freshener. So I got poopery. I purchased two because actually when I um, booked our cruise, I thought I was booking the connecting rooms and I accidentally booked two separate rooms. So me and my daughter be in one room and my son and my husband will be in one room. So I got some poopery just in case because keep in mind, you're eating a lot of food on a cruise. So you're going to probably have a bowel movement. I hope you do. You want to release all that waste <laughs> from your intestines. So you want to make sure you bring some spray. I actually have a bigger one that I'm going to take out of my bag because I found these at Target for $4.99. So I purchased two. So I, a little bit go a long way. You spread and I'm telling you, it will prevent that odor from spreading from that small bathroom to your, <laughs> your living area. So you really don't want to be smelling number two in your room. You get sick. <laughs> so I got this. Poopery. $4.99 at Target. Another essential that is very beneficial. I got this little pouch. So I, I you know, I generally always pack like hand sanitizer. Uh, you will find that I might have little small ones like in each wallet, on each purse, on each bag. But I also carry a pack of um napkins too. I each I keep a small pack and um each bag just in case if somebody need to blow their nose i always carry this one bottle of downy spray just in case if any wrinkles in our outfits i can spray this and hang it this will help because they don't allow irons in the room they don't you can pay to have your stuff pressed but they don't keep like uh anything that could cause fires in a room and also i have i carry lysol and i forgot to pull out my other packet i just want to show you all because i like to wipe stuff down I always make sure I pack a lot of stuff. So these are actually um, hand sanitizers I got from Ulta Beauty. So I'm not gonna carry all of these because I already have some from last year in each bag and my suitcases, but I just keep this. I keep stuff like this. I love hand sanitizer. As you all know, I'm a registered nurse, so I didn't start carrying stuff like that when when the pandemic ha happened i always carry stuff like that and i also carry like bleach wipes because i like to wipe down stuff just because your room look clean it might not be clean you have to keep in mind i don't know how much time they have to prepare those ships but i always wipe stuff down just to be on the safe side and like you said i always carry more than one bottle because i spray everything down and as you all can see i have a lot of this downy uh wrinkle spray but you only need to carry one bottle you don't need a, uh, a lot, a little bit go a long way. So these are also my Vicks rugs. I'm going to put this with my medicine. And also, just in case, if you're on a cruise and you go out on an excursion and you have on something white or something, you know, you can see a stain through and you drop some food on your shirt, you can take one of these with you, these tight uh, to-go erasers. So I like to carry that just in case. I was out about a week ago and I had on a lime green shirt and I dropped some um, a fruit drink on it and I didn't have this with me. So I had to cover it up because you can see it. So I'm always going to keep one of these in my purse going forward. And I'm also going to take this on with me to my uh, on the cruise. And of course, you want to make sure that you carry your passport. You don't need a passport when you cruise. You can actually carry your birth certificate, but I just say just to be on the safe side, God forbid something happened. It'll be easier to have your passport to get back into your country with no problem. And also, I'm not sure, but from all the um, ports that we ported, they did not require a passport. So you don't have to have it, but you get through the lines quicker with it. You'll be surprised how many people don't have a passport. So the birth certificate line is really long. So I have my husband passport my son, my daughter, and also man, I keep up with everything. I carry it. I actually have a travel um wallet that um hold all four of these. I don't know where I put it, but I always keep everything because I'm, I'm more responsible. And of course, I want to make sure I keep up with everything so nothing happened. You don't have to carry like COVID cards that don't require that, but you can like 
you know, print your uh, travel insurance just in case. And I'm going to actually be printing my travel insurance and also my luggage um, tags. And uh, from experience, I like to keep my room organized. Like I told you all, we have two. So I purchased these hampers from Amazon and they each hold two hampers a piece. So one for my husband clothes, one for my son and one for me and one for my daughter clothes. So I'm going to be carrying these travel hampers. And I purchased these from um, Amazon for $9.99. And they travel size. So you could just slip these in your suitcase. And also, these are suitcase tags. With the Royal Caribbean, you want to, these go, these fit their um, luggage tags very well. So I purchased packet with um, four each in both I so I care I purchased two packets and they each have four um luggage tags and it's good to, I never used it but this will be the first time me using it and I like the reason why I'm going to use it this time because I noticed that they just slide your suitcase in the middle of the hall and they really don't put it directly in front of your door so I want to get this luggage tag so that way you know I'm hoping that they'll put my luggage right in front of my door versus on the floor that we have our uh, room at so I purchased these and I'm actually going to be printing our tickets. I mean, our luggage tags today. So I just like to be organized and try to keep everything together. And also, I always sleep with a fan. So I have a portable fan to um, put next to my nightstand. Uh, I just like the sound of it. It's not. So I'm taking this with me. And I also have a portable neck one. So when I go out on the excursion, I had it. And also, when you um, go on any cruise, they do give you a photo ID card. And it's like a cash list um, system. So your card is how you will pay for like items on the boat. So you want to make sure you keep it um, in a safe place. So I always give each of us one of these. And we carry our IDs on our neck. So that way we don't lose it. I got the pink one for me and my daughter. And I got the two navy blues for me and for my husband and son. So we have four of these. And I actually got these from Amazon. They was two for $5.99. And another thing that I find that's very beneficial is carrying these magnets. Now these are hooks. In the cabinets, they have like metal um uh, walls so you can put one of these metal hooks on a wall and you can hold like your purse your hats your wet you can um hang your wet um swimsuits inside your bathroom and let them dry a little bit better so i always carry these with me they come in handy because the cabinets are really small so you want to utilize all the space that you can and keep everything neat and organized i got these from amazon these are um hooks and they magnets because the walls are like magnets. So you can just, you I mean, the walls are metal. So you can just use these metals to hang your purses, your hats, wet clothing, whatever. I say get them. Now, also, you don't necessarily have to pack towels with you because on the Royal Caribbean, they do let you rent out towels. But if you don't return the towels, they will charge you $25 a piece. So I always bring these hooks because it could be windy on top of the decks where the um, jacuzzi, the pools are, where all the like water activities are. So I carry these hooks with me and I just, uh, these not, these, well, I call them hooks, but uh, they clampers, sorry. So I just clamp this to my chair and these come in handy. I'm telling you, this stuff is really just keep you organized and keep everything intact. And usually when people see that you have a towel on the chair, they won't sit in your uh, spot. And also, now don't get me wrong, the Royal Caribbean do pro provide bottle soap. I mean, um, bar soap. I don't like, um, you know, I don't know. I just don't like rubbing my hands on bar soap and putting it down. It's just something about it don't seem sanitary for me. So I, I'm carrying this time around um pump soap so i got two for each of our rooms and i'm gonna put it in a ziploc bag and i'm gonna just put it in my suitcase because i have a check bag because as you all can see i'm probably 
I'm only gonna have one suitcase. I'm gonna have one big suitcase and a uh, personal item. But I did want to just come on and show you all our essentials that we taking with us. And also, you want to make sure you carry a, a waterproof cell phone holder because it's a lot of water activities. So I did purchase, although with my children, um, we're not going to purchase an internet package for them. And usually we keep their phone on airplane mode because on the cruise, if you don't have your phone on airplane mode, you will be charged a lot of money. And I'm telling you, it could be thousands of dollars. But I did purchase an internet packet for me and my husband because, of course, we adults, we may get emergency phone calls from family. So I always want, want people to be able to get in touch with me. But I still brought them a water, um, a phone case, a, a waterproof phone case, just in case if they want to carry their phone and take pictures, we all have one. And I purchased these from Amazon. I had actually got four for $11.99. And also, in the crib, I have four. I have more than uh, four, but I'm just going to show you all the two that I have on the bed. I always take portable uh, rain um, ponchos because in the Caribbean islands, it may rain. And I just want to be proactive. I don't want to be wet. So I just carry these just in case. We are going on one excursion in um, Dominican Republican. At first, we wasn't going to go because I went to Dominican um, last month with my girls. And... Um, it actually didn't rain, but we stayed on the resort, so I didn't get a chance to go and see all the historical sites. So I did book an excursion for a tour. So we'll be going on a tour uh, on this um on this um cruise. So I do want to take this, and also I purchased two umbrellas just in case if it do rain, we'll have it. And also, I always bring shower caps with me anywhere I go because you can actually use these shower caps for your shoes to um put shoe covers to protect your um suitcase just in case if your shoes get dirty or you know if they got something on them you could um wrap your shower caps in you could um put the shoes uh, put a shower cap around the shoes so i always carry shower caps and also to protect your hair i'm not gonna carry this whole pack but i am gonna carry some out of it and also like i said we're going to the caribbean island so you want to make sure you have some off or you want to make sure you have some of that Avon. <laughs> uh, I forgot the name. Skin so soft. That'll help keep mosquitoes off of you as well. And of course, I already packed my children's um, personal items. But I'm also going to take this with me. I did get them some um, sunscreen, some aloe vera um, gel. I do have that pack. I'm going to show you all because I'm going to do another video showing how I prepared for my two children and also gonna show you all how I'm preparing for myself. And also I, I, my husband, he gonna pack his own stuff, he on his own. <laughs> but of course the mom, you have to make sure your children are together. And also I did some things for my husband too. I, I got them together, but I'm just gonna show you all how I pack for my two children and how I pack for myself. So I brought them some um, sunscreen spray and also I brought them some sunscreen in a row. So I plan on, we're going to be out there a lot in the sun. So I want to make sure I protect my children's skin. And also I brought them an after lotion, um, an after sunscreen lotion. So that way I can keep reinforcing it throughout the day. So I'm going to carry this with me in my suitcase. So I'm actually going to put this in a Ziploc bag now. And also while we're talking about, while I'm mentioning the Ziploc bags, let me tell you all why I plan on taking a bunch of Ziploc bags with me. So, on this ship, they do have a lot of snacks. They have cookies and stuff. So, when we go to the buffet, I plan on, you know, letting my children keep a Ziploc bag. I'm actually going to pack them a snack pack um, with them, but that'll be um, for the airplane. So, I'm going to pack some snack packs for all of us. But also, while we on the cruise, if they want to go to the buffet and bring little treats back to the cabinet, they can I'm not gonna let them take anything off of the um the ship when we um port because some places you can't bring food off the ship and I just don't want nobody hassling me about anything. So I try to make sure I keep up with the rules. But you know, if they want a nighttime snack, I'm gonna make sure they, you know, we have to zip my bags. So also on the cruise, you wanna make sure you bring a portable um uh, this is a power slurge. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, God. Well, you want to make sure you bring something like this. 
because on the cruise they don't let you bring like a regular extension cord because it could be a fire hazard they do accept these one just like this and actually when you go on amazon you can actually put in um power on um, search um plugins for the cruises and it'll show you the proper ones to purchase i purchased this one from amazon and i actually got a second one because like i said we do have two rooms so i want to make sure that everybody is comfortable so i did purchase two of each thing so this one is for let me see what you call this it's pretty much a power surge um charger in summer, I'm going on the Mariner of the Sea. It's an older ship, although they did modify it and upgrade it. It still don't have a lot of um, electrical um, outlets. So you do want to make sure you carry something like this. So that way you'll be able to plug up all your, charge all your devices that you may have. So I brought two for um, both rooms. I'm just going to sit that over here. And also... I always carry a uh, portable scale to weigh my suitcases because we are flying Southwest. We do give two um, bags a piece, but you still want to make sure you weigh your suitcase and it's less than 50 pounds or you'll be charged. So I always carry this when I go anywhere because I know if I'm going out the country, I'm going to a different place. I may want to buy little souvenirs and I want to make sure my bag is not over 50 pounds. So I always get you a portable um scale and i got this from amazon for like 9.99 you know amazon and she in is that girl for me and also um i did purchase a um soda packet for everybody but i also want to make sure my children are staying hydrated because we will be in the sun so i also brought like well they actually got these for their birthdays these portable um water bottles they kind of like uh soft so they kind of like uh disposable a little bit so i'm gonna wash these out really good and i'm gonna carry these with me and also i have um water bottles for me and my husband too i just have to clean them out so i'm gonna make sure i pack them because last time we went on the cruise i forgot them so that's why i have them with me and i'm also gonna take a little small bottle of dishwashing liquid so that way i can clean out our cups and with the drink package that i got for us they do give us a souvenir cup so i am gonna bring some dishwashing liquid so i can make sure that I keep those cups clean. I purchased these from Amazon and I'm I plan on putting a lot of this stuff in there. And these were two I brought purchased these two for like 30 bucks and one say stuff and one say travel. So I like to stay organized and I just keep on buying all these extra goodies. <laughs> and also women this for my ladies. You never know. Well, I usually keep try to keep up with my uh, cycle, but sometimes it come when it want to come. And so you want to make sure you always carry like pads, tampons. I carry uh, panty liners and also feminine wipes. So I've got a bunch of that. My daughter, uh, the, I have, I don't have to worry about my little girl. So I'm happy about that. But just in case I have everything we need. And also... In this video, I'm just going to show you all. I did pack my uh, toiletry bag already. It is some items that I have to put in here. Like I haven't did my perfume. I do have some travel size perfumes, but also it is some scents that I like to carry with me. So I purchased this little um, refillable perfume um, valves from Amazon. And this was like $6.99. So I got four, but I'm only going to take two more with me because I actually have some travel size perfumes that I'm going to take. But... Oh, like I was telling you all early, I already had a big bottle of poopery. So I'm actually going to leave this one home. So oh, I had this bag for a while. And I love it. I purchased this from um, Walmart. So this got like my hair, shampoo, sunscreen. So let me show you all some items that I got out of here. I actually, I'm trying a new sunscreen. I usually use Black Girl sunscreen, and I do have that with me for my face. I purchased this from Alta Beauty. It's called Vacation. I actually saw this on another YouTuber's channel, so I want to use this. This is actually oil, so it's a sunscreen oil that I'm going to try. And it's like a 30 SPF. 
and it's like a lightweight and refreshing water resistant and it lasts up to 80 minutes so this will be my first time trying this and also this is the lotion so i purchased both of these from alta beauty also got me some um makeup remover and cleanser for my face and also, I love Dr. Bronas and I love Avery Spring soap mixed together. It's something about the Avery Spring that does something for me. Even though they say this for men, I use this on my body too. And I always smell, I'm telling you, I smell fast. I have my um mouthwash. You got to keep that. I keep a portable deodorant. This is not the brand that I like to use, but since I brought a lot of it, I just... You know, take that with me. And I also have another one that I'm going to take. So, I also, one of my good girlfriends told me about this sunscreen. I like it because it's lightweight on my face. So, I also purchased the Super uh, Gloop sunscreen. So, it's a little kit that I got from Ulta Beauty. It was like $25 for three little samples. So I'm taking that with me. And also, this is my Black Girl Sunscreen. I love this. I haven't had a problem with it. I love it. No discoloration on my skin. No sunburn. This does the business. So, And like I told y'all before, I do have some travel size perfumes. I always take my Chloe um, Nomad. I got some from Bath & Body Works and Kayani or Kayali um, perfume. So it smells, all these smells so good. And it go a long way. I'm taking this toothbrush out because I actually just purchased me another one that's smaller. And I don't know what I did with it, but I'm also going to rearrange my bag. But I remember to put a toothbrush in here. But I this for my husband, but I also brought me a purple one. So, Ugh. oh, here you go. So, I'm going to put this up in my bag now. I don't want to forget and be up there with stinky breath. So, I got this for a dollar from Target. I wear contact lenses, so I always want to make sure. I'm going to pack my contact lenses, and I always take a, a nice little eye drop just to make sure my eyes stay moist. And I also have me some, um, ooh, what is, I'm get, forgetting stuff. Contact solution. <laughs> That's because I'm talking so fast and my brain moving ahead of, ahead of itself and I'm forgetting what to tell you guys. And also, you want to get women. I'm losing a lot of weight. I'm not an um, overweight woman, but I did gain a lot of weight and it went in my thighs. So, my thighs was rubbing together, so I was chafing. So, I brought this chafing release. It's a minor step care and I got this from Amazon. I got a four pack. So I'm actually going to be carrying this along in my um, toiletry bag. So, also, I'm real, I love Bum Bum Cream. So I got the shower gel and I also got the uh, Bum Bum Cream. I carry um, conditioner and uh, shampoo. Although I'm going to have my hair braided, I still carry this just in case if you get in water with... um. Chlorine, you want to make sure you wash your hair because you will have a lot of buildup if you don't. And also, I'm carrying hair oil. And I have another hair oil that I took out. I got this from, from Sephora. It is actually some oil for your hair to just keep your hair moisturized. So I'll be bringing that with me for my hair. Also, I got my edge control. And I got my little edge control brushes in here. And also, I love these little portable two brushes I got from Target. I always carry that with me just in case. I got a lint brush. I got a sponge. I'm also going to be carrying a pack of towels because um, they do provide you with towels every day, but they are a little rough. So, I'm going to be carrying towels. And also, this is my other deodorant I was telling you all about. Although I'm getting a bikini wax and everything, I still carry a portable um shaver just in case if i need to remove some hair and also have a shaving cream and also i always carry me some nipple covers when i wear my back out shirt with no bra i like to be a lady so i carry that and i also just carry me a body mist and another lotion 
and I'm big on hydrating my skin and not looking crusty. So I, I got another like body cream that I got from Alta. And I'm telling this stuff, is it don't have a scent, but I'm telling you, keep your skin hydrated. So I like that. I'm going to rearrange my bag so I can carry an extra body mist. So this is my body mist and an extra lotion that I like to carry. I got this from Bath and Body Works. It's called Coco Paradise. And I'm telling you, this is perfect for a Caribbean cruise. It smells so good. And mixed with my perfume and my other butters. Oh, I be, I be lit. Everybody always tell me I smell so good. I got enough. To sh I got two shower caps. I'm going to get one to my daughter and I'm going to keep one. So I'm going to rearrange my bag. So I'm just going to put this down. Try not to make this video too long. Let me kind of speed it up. Okay. So also, this is another towel holder. Like I was telling you guys, you want to be careful with rent, renting um, towels because the um, deck can be windy. So you want to make sure your towel don't blow away. But I'm not going to carry this with me. I, I like the clips, so I'm going to keep the clips. Okay, let me see. Was that everything? And also, I'm real big on my skincare. So I did. This is my skincare pack. So I got some portable um, disposable towels. You can use them on multiple times. I got these from Amazon. And I'm carrying like eight of them. You can wash your body, your face with them. And they so soft. And I got these new, uh, Neutrogena um makeup removers and also oil removers so if my face feel oily i just wipe use one of these to wipe my face off i got me some face masks i got my face cleanser and also i got some other stuff that i'm gonna take with me for my skin too and also got me some moderna because i have a lot of black spots and i got some black soap i'm trying to get rid of these black spots and they are diminishing with the sunscreen i use sunscreen every day so that's helping and another thing, too, I showed you all the um, electrical um, power surge. But also, this is my, this is what I'm going to use to carry all my chargers, my um, adapters, my portable battery packs. And I have this thing here. I'm going to organize it a lot better. But I was using this before. I got my Beats by Dre in here. I got some extra um, headphones. I got my um, F, I mean my Apple Watch charger, and also you could charge your phones and stuff with this too. I got another um, adapter, and actually this um, can be used for different type of countries. Different countries they have the U.S. on here, Australia, U.K., and Europe. If if um, you go to another country and they adapters might not be like ours, you can. Um, change it and you'll be able to charge your items so i always carry this and i also have another battery pack charge i actually have four and this is just all my charges and cords i have some more cords coming for my phone my tripod so i try to make sure i got everything that i need just in case i don't i like to have more than what I, more than enough because you just never know when you decide not to pack some stuff that's when you're gonna need it so I always make sure I keep all my stuff together and I organize everything. I'm going to pack all this stuff up today. So that way I don't need nothing. And also, mm, real big on hygiene with oral care. So I got little toothpicks. <laughs> I got um my portable toothbrushes. So I always keep a bunch of that stuff. And I'm going to pack up. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I am going to take like my mascara, some powders I like to use. I'm going to take that type of stuff. I'm just trying to make sure I ain't need nothing out. And also, it's up to you all. This is a, um, I don't think I'm going to use this. But, you know, if you want to keep your room organized, you can put like a, it's like a, uh, a storage, um, pouch that you can hang on the door you can keep your shoes in here you can keep purse keep personal items things like that because you the cabinets are so small but i don't think i'm gonna take this with me i'm not but i also got bags for our wet clothes just in case the stuff don't dry i could just throw these up in this these two pouches so that way i can keep my um my suitcase a little sanitized so i got that and that's it that's it 
So my next video will be me showing you all how I'm getting my children prepared for this cruise. And also I have another video showing you the items that I'm going to pack with me. My children are already completely packed up. I'm just waiting on a few more items from Amazon for my son. But other than that, all their stuff is packed up. I just got to put it in a suitcase. I use packing cues for them, but everything is pretty much set up for them. So thank you all for taking the time out and um, just think about um, going on the cruise and then use my video my video as a reference of things that you may need that'll make your cruise more comfortable and just um, give me some feedback. Thank you all.